Oh my gosh, look, they actually have a talking Crouchy doll. That's the first Crouchy doll I've seen in a store this season. All right, guys, I wasn't sure I was gonna make it here, but today we are in Sacramento, California at a Spirit Halloween, very strangely, that used to be a party city. What in the world? Talk about Clash of the Titans. Yes, my friends, I could not believe it when I saw it online. This store looks very awesome, and it used to be a party city. Now it is a Spirit Halloween, Sacramento, California. And it's funny because right beside it is a Chuck E. Cheese, as which you all know, I have filmed Spirit Halloweens that are in old abandoned Chuck E. Cheeses like Mansfield, Ohio. All right, let's go on in, guys. They just opened today. I mean, it is like the crack of 11 a.m. <laughs> the crack. So let's go ahead in. I don't expect there's gonna be a whole lot of people in here, right? At the moment, are they even open yet? Maybe it's this door here. It's this door here. Okay. All right, here it is, guys. The Spirit Halloween, Sacramento, California, that used to be a party city. Guys, I have to first say, look at the awesome spirit carts. I wish I could get a spirit cart to just take home with me and have in my office. Okay, let's go ahead up here and look at this. We have the Martian Warrior front and center standing right here. I don't even see any other animatronics. So this guy gets all the attention right off the bat. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. He has the mist coming out. Very cool. If I put this up against the dark background over here, you can really see that mist. So cool. Okay, instead of looking at animatronics first, guys, everybody keeps saying, look at this, look at that, blah, blah, blah. And apparently people don't watch my videos long enough because I always get around to looking at a lot of the stuff that people are telling me to look at. We will come back to the animatronics at the end, but let's go ahead and just look around the store here and see some things that we haven't seen before that maybe you guys are looking for. It looks like they have a really good selection of the shirts here. It looks like... Every shirt up here is probably in stock. And the one that people are really looking for this year is this one right here with Sam in the Spirit logo. That is such a cool shirt. And here it is, guys. They got a whole stack of a medium, large, extra large, and 2X. Okay, people wanted to see the skeleton stuff. So here's a little bit of skeleton stuff here. We have some masks, which consists of the sugar skull, another sugar skull, we have a regular skeleton mask with no bottom jaw. We have a skeleton mask that does have a bottom jaw. And then a little bit different of a skeleton mask on the bottom here. That one is actually pretty cool. We got this skeleton top hat over here. The skeleton staff. Ooh, I really like that too. Look at that. That is pretty dang cool right there. Kind of reminds me of Guns N' Roses. And all this over here is accessories related to your skeleton costume. And here's a whole bunch of different skeleton costumes over here. I'm just going to move down through here and you can take a look. See anything that you may like. That's actually pretty cool right there. The skeleton romper. I like the skeleton poncho too. Skeleton lady, the bona fide beauty. This reminds me of the Karate Kid, actually. More down here on the second row. Uh, let's see, the skeleton dress, skeleton royalty jacket. That's pretty cool. Ooh, skeleton king. I like that one. Some Day of the Dead stuff here. We got a printed dress, La Catrina. Bonafide beauty again. And then here's a skeleton suit on the end. And did we see the skeleton vest yet? That's pretty cool. I don't think we saw that yet. And of course, we also have this skeleton jacket, which looks like a leather jacket, but you know, it's not real leather, of course. I'm just going to try to do like some slow sweeping shots for you guys so you can kind of get an idea of what they have. 
but really guys there are so many costumes and so many little things in the store here that you really need to come down to a store to see it yourself because there's just no way that I can show you each and every individual thing that they have for sale in here that would be absolutely impossible that is a cool one right there they got devil kits here i'm not big into devils but maybe you are so i'll show you the devil kits yeah there's just so many things guys there's no way that i can show you each individual thing this video would be like 10 hours long but look at this they have a whole lot of awesome capes here like i like this one right here the black velvet hooded cape the black lace cape that's cool Here's a black collared cape, a regular cape, emerald green, black hooded dress, another black hooded dress. Here's some red capes here. These look pretty dang cool. This one's like a velvet hooded cape. That's cool. Ooh, and look at this one, guys. It's a purple velvet hooded cape. Lots of colors and sizes and styles. I really like the ponchos. This one's a sequin spiderweb poncho. And then we have a pumpkin poncho over here. I think that one looks really cool. The ghost poncho. Look at this one. It's a candy corn poncho. Look at the little candy corn hat. We got all kinds of suits here and jerseys. I'll pull out one of the jerseys and show you. Um, yeah, there's just the, uh, the Jack the Reaper logo. 31 on the back with his hands. That's cool. There are so many different types of crossbody bags in these stores. And they're mixed throughout the store. Look at this one. It's a secret keeping cat winking at us. Look at this one. This is like a, a scary jack-o'-lantern. They've got scarves and hats and beanies. Look at this hat right here. All kinds of spooky stuff on there. Does this say anything? And we got a bat on there that's like purple and uh, tie-dyed. This one is Don't Hex My Vibe. We've seen that one before. And look at these tiny little hats. What is a fascinator? I don't even understand what that is, but I kind of want to get that and put it on Grim. <laughs> Couple of stickers there. Of course, we have lots of costumes and stuff that I've shown you in other stores, but just to give you a quick look, right here is the ghost face stuff. We have all the Adams Family stuff over here. Bunch of Sam stuff, including this crossbody bag right here. And the lollipop earrings. Those are cool. Pennywise right here. More Trick or Treat and Jason Friday the 13th stuff right here. Jerseys and masks and hats and knives. Well, not knives, but machetes. More Pennywise on this one right here. Look at this crossbody bag. It's the SS Georgie. Somebody was asking me about the Universal Monster. So we do have some masks in here from that. We got the Invisible Man, the Frankenstein Chick, the Bride of Frankenstein. We got the Creature from the Black Lagoon. We have Frankenstein himself, or Frankenstein's monster, for those of you who are going to leave a comment about that. Corpse Bride on the end here. And then, of course, we have Freddy Krueger over here with several different styles of his claw. Here's some more Universal stuff right here, including socks. And look, they have Monster Bolt and I hadn't seen this before. It's a canvas tote bag, never trust the living. Killer clowns from outer space. I don't know if I've seen this crossbody bag yet. It's the Killer Clowns uh, Circus Tent. <laughs> Look, it says, it's crazy. Of course, we have Wednesday's Headless Doll crossbody bag. Michael Myers over here. You gotta love the Michael Myers Halloween knife. That's pretty cool. All kinds of zombie stuff here. Look at this. You dead. <laughs> More Killer Clowns accessories on the end here, including these Jumbo Pops, which I'm pretty for sure are black light activated. All kinds of Chucky stuff down here. I don't know if I've seen this hat yet. That's pretty cool. I like the splatter on the blue there. This whole aisle here is all Chucky costumes. And this whole aisle here is all circus and clowns. Look at this. We got the neon clown right up front, as well as the wacky mole and this neon clown down here. We got the hammers here, the top hat, the scary clown makeup. Look at all these clowns costume guys and right up front is hugs okay we have the chaos clown the ringmaster jacket the creepy mime i like that one the killer clown she's pretty hilarious look at the look on her face the psycho jester the carnival clown the twick the twisted trickster i think i tripped on that name before 
We got a killer clown down here, a chrome clown. Look at that guy, his face is shiny. And then we got a slasher clown here. All kinds of weapons and accessories and makeup here. We even have a voice changer over here. Some makeup, giant scissors, ringmaster hats. Look at this, here's another crossbody bag I haven't seen. It's like a box of popcorn and it says, welcome to the freak show. We got the ringmaster staff, a whip. We have the sinister ringmaster the star of the show, the Dark Ringmaster. All this here is Hocus Pocus, guys. They are absolutely stocked with all kinds of costumes and stuff in here. You will have to come down here if you are located anywhere near Sacramento and check all this out for yourselves. Because look at this. We've only been through this small section right here and it's taken this long so far. And what ends up in the video is compressed into only a few minutes, but it actually took me like a half an hour to get through just that section. We got a whole bunch of costumes down here that are not your typical movie costumes, so let's take a look at a few of those. We have the Skeleton Reaper, the Granny Wolf, that one cracks me up. Uh-oh, we have the Barfamet, the Hazmat Suit, the Howling Wolf, the Hooded Robe, another Skeleton Reaper. Ooh, I like this one the best, guys. Big Frank, I love that big head. And that mask actually does come with this costume. Wow, that's pretty heavy, too. I like this one, too, the Voodoo Priestess. That's a pretty cool costume right there. Shadow Reaper, Light Up Jack-O-Lantern. What's this one called? The Voodoo Dude, the Prince of Darkness, the Full Moon Madness. And this side all through here is all witch stuff. If you want to be a witch, but you don't want it to be Hocus Pocus. We got the Gothic Witch, the Wicked Spellcaster. Let's see, we got the Eternal Witch up here. Sorry you can't see those very well because of the uh, the reflections, but there's a whole bunch of different kinds of witch costumes here. Witch hats, you got witch tights, even the mini witch hat. Witch brooms, witch press-on nails, a witch flask, celestial witch gloves, the witch necklace here. Oh my gosh, guys, there's so many accessories if you want to be a witch. Tons of Plague Doctor costumes here and accessories, like you could get the mask by itself or the complete costume. You can get the Plague Doctor tool set. We got the Flintstones here. Looks like we have the whole pack, including Dino. This is all Nightmare Before Christmas here, followed by Beetlejuice down here. Jack Skellington here. We got the Shock Lock and Barrel masks, or do we only have, looks like we only have Shock right there. I don't see the other two, but we have Barbara, Beetlejuice, Adam. Oh, no, I guess all we have is lock. <laughs> yeah, here's the other two. We have lock here and barrel up on the top. X-Men on the outside here. We have your Harley Quinn and the Joker and Batman stuff down this aisle here. Someone forgot their pimp chain. South Park right here. We got Winnie the Pooh over here. SpongeBob, Sesame Street, Scooby-Doo. Mickey and Minnie here. We have, let's see, all the Dr. Seuss stuff here. Thing 1 and 2, the Thing wig, the Thing leg warmers, the Thing... What the heck are these things called? I can't even remember. <laughs> we got the Cat in the Hat deluxe suit. Here's a bunch of Monster High costumes, bunch of Disney costumes in this aisle here. We got the Disney villains over here, the Wicked Witch, the Wizard of Oz things right here, the Scarecrow, I see the Tin Man down here, Ursula, Cruella de Vil, we have Belle and Cinderella, Woody, Jesse, the Red Gamer, oh, this must have just been dropped off here in the wrong place, Jesse, Mr. Potato Head here, we have Buzz Lightyear, of course we have the Pizza Planet, Jacket, which is one of my favorite things. Monsters Inc. on the end. We got Pokemon over here. We got wizards down here. Harry Potter stuff. Lilo and Stitch on the end here. We got some marshmallow here as usual. Look at this. We got the Vault Dweller from Fallout. The Incredibles. Waldo. The Cheerleader uniform from Archie. The Powerpuff Girls. But no mojo, Jojo! Napoleon Dynamite, Gremlins, Dale Doback from Step Brothers, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Of course, here's the whole Barbie section over here. And then what is this? Harley Quinn, the Catwoman, 
guys, there is just so much stuff in here. The Ghostbusters, we have pirate costumes over here and all kinds of accessories, hats and swords and hooks. And whenever I show you guys stuff like this, there are people who say, give us close-ups. But like I said, there's absolutely no way that I could give you a close-up of each and every individual thing. You'll just have to come into the store for yourself and check it out. But for me, that's enough for the costumes right now. I want to come over here and check out the animatronics. All right, let's go on back here and check these guys out. It looks like they have everything set up. So let's start with the Hexpawn. Hello, Hexpawn. Look at this, guys. Now I'm in this habit when I see the Hexpawn to look up at the ceiling and see how tall it is because of that one that would jump up and scrape the ceiling with his horns. All right, come on, Hexpawn. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> he was fast, man. That was absolutely crazy. Alright, let's leave him a couple of stickers here. We got the Howling Spirit right beside him. Let's see if we can get him going. There he goes. I love it when all of them are going at the same time. And I know we only have two of them going at the moment, but... Look at this, the Howling Spirit only has one arm moving. It's like, how do you like this store, sir? And he's like, eh, it's just kind of so-so. <laughs> All right, sir, we're gonna leave you some stickers down here too. Let's see if the gargoyle will work. The gargoyle is apparently not plugged in. Let's move on over here to Eternal Rest and see how many spins we can get from Eternal Rest. Ooh. I heard the mechanism inside. I heard her crying and screaming, but the head is not spinning at all. All right, let's get Darling Dolly going here. Come on, Dolly, come on. Is Dolly not, Dolly must not be working either. Oh my gosh. All right, well, we're gonna come in here and leave a few stickers over here by Dolly anyways, because everyone deserves stickers. All right, let's get Gordo going here. Come on, Gordo, please, yes. He's lighting up pretty good here. You gotta love Gordo, and I do, so I'm gonna leave some stickers right here. All right, we got the Blackheart, and honestly, guys, he's kind of boring, so I'm not even gonna bother with him today. Hello, Blackheart, goodbye, Blackheart. <laughs> we got Desmodus here, ooh. He's kind of kicked over to the side. Let's see if he even works. All right, I hear, do I hear him? No, I hear her. Of course I hear her. The Grave Watcher, always watching over. All right, Desi, are you gonna work? All right, he's apparently not working. Let's check out little Skelly Bones. Here comes Skelly, all right. Skelly works like 99% of the time. Here you go, Skelly, we'll leave you a big sticker. All right, let's try our jumping spider here. Here he comes. Yes, jumping spider usually doesn't let us down either. Good job, Mr. Spidey. Yeah, listen to all the craziness going on back here right now, guys. I love when I come in these stores and there are all kinds of spooky sounds going on. All right, let's head back here and say hello to some of our other friends here. Look at this, we have a whole bunch of fogging skull piles here. And look how stocked they are with friends. First we have the Hello Rat. Then we have the Secret Keeping Cats. Holy crap, one, two, three, four, five, six Secret Keeping Cats. I can only imagine what kind of secrets they're keeping. We have a whole bunch of carrots down here, five of them, a whole bunch of creeping cats, and it looks like we have six scabs down here too. Guys, I can't believe how stocked up they are with this stuff. Look at this, we have four skull piles over here. We have both of these kinds of skull blow molds. Over here we have all three, or all four of the ones that, uh, I hadn't seen for a while, but they're starting to show up now. These are so awesome. I think this one's my favorite, the green one, because the color is so fun. Four pumpkin stacks down here. Somebody was telling me they couldn't find any ham hocks anywhere. Well, they got four of them right here in Sacramento. Who wants a ham hock? They got two of the hook head hogs, the double face guy, two of the hook eye guys. Plenty of bad breath. 
Lots of hanging ghoulies over here, including this witch that I love so much. She's hilarious. Candelabras, we got the activation switches here. Let's put some stickers in the cauldron here. Some right there. Skulls and skulls and more skulls. Tons of inflatables. Look at this, guys. They have a whole bunch of inflatables here. I don't see the inflatable jumbo, but they do have the inflatable three-pack of the Killer Clowns. Lots of haunted dolls here. Lots of walking monster hands. Lots of swinging girls on swings. And let's come over and look at the masks quick just to see if there's anything else we haven't seen because in that one video we looked at them and I found a whole bunch of awesome masks that I hadn't seen yet. Um, looks like... All right, I know I've seen this before, but it's still pretty cool. The burlap scarecrow mask. He's got the flat head like Frankenstein. I don't know if I've seen the UV pumpkin ultraviolet light reactive latex mask that's pretty cool it's not a full head mask but that does look pretty cool we got the possessed pumpkin here that's a really cool one um it looks like everything else we have pretty much seen not seeing anything else popping out at me here I do like this one right here, the skull cap. I see this every year, and I think this is pretty cool. It's got one of those jaws that moves with your own jaw. And somebody else was telling me they wanted to see this Texas Chainsaw Massacre mask, so there it is. All right, let's make our way back up this way and see what's up front. Um, I do see Slim up here. Unless I'm just overlooking them, I do not see a lot of animatronics on the floor for sale. Let's take a quick look for Glenn here. I do see Chucky, I see Annabelle, I see the sitting Sam doll, but I do not see Glenn. I still have not found the Spirit Monopoly. This one looks pretty cool though, Beetlejuice, but I want to find the Spirit one. They have all four of the tiny terrors here. We have the Ghost Face, the Sam, the Leatherface, and the Pennywise. Let's leave a few stickers down there. And they are stocked with zombie babies. And guys, I'm still on the lookout for a burrito baby. I don't think I've seen a burrito baby in any stores. Somebody commented and said they saw one in the background of one of my videos, but I don't know. I look at these zombie babies in every store, and I don't think I've seen one. They do have a whole bunch of these back backpacks, these lounge fly backpacks, and these things are totally awesome. I think we have probably looked at all of them. Where's, oh, they don't have the Michael Myers. That's the one that I really like. Oh my gosh, look, they actually have a talking Crouchy doll. That's the first Crouchy doll I've seen in a store this season. Guys, the only talking Crouchy doll I have, if you remember, is the one that doesn't have any hair. So I would totally buy this guy right now if it weren't the only one. But since I know there are so many people in Sacramento that have been asking me to come to the Spirit Halloween stores, I'm going to leave this one here just for one special Crouchy fan. I'm going to leave him right here under the Crouchy plush, and you can come in here and buy him at your discretion. I'm even going to leave a sticker right here on the floor to mark where he's at. And if you don't get that sticker, they will have some at the counter up front. Okay, let's finish up with these animatronics up here as promised, guys. We have Slim over here with his Mickey Mouse hands. Let's get him going. Look at his hair. His hair actually reminds me of Ronald McDonald right there. <laughs> All right, let's get the widow going here. Come on, widow. <laughs> we'll leave the widow some stickers. We'll leave Slim some stickers. Let's come in and check out the sitting scarecrow. Is he set up for when we reach? No, I guess not. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's the regular sitting scarecrow. Sometimes I come in and I see him and it's just the regular and I call him the scary sitting scarecrow. Let's go ahead and leave him some stickers in his bowl there. Let's say hello to Dagger Mike. Come on, Mike. <laughs> I actually have Mike in my trunk right now. I just haven't put him together yet. All right, we'll leave a couple for you too. We got poor George here. Let's get him going. Come on, Georgie. Leave him a couple of stickers. 
Okay, and I am pretty sure that that's it, guys. I did see a sign over here that said, see an associate if you wanna buy animatronics. So they must have them available. They're just not out on the floor right now. Oh my gosh, one more thing before we leave. Look at this. It's a Corpse Bride arm wrap. Look at the face on that guy. <laughs>